Well, it's a hidden danger that can kill items energized with electricity, items we come in contact with pretty much every day. Tonight, the 11 News I team and reporter David Collins shows us the danger and why some believe more needs to be done to protect the public. Hidden danger in the public landscape. Common items we come across like lampposts, handrails, sidewalks, manhole covers. They can become energized by electricity, voltage powerful enough to kill. Dave Kalakaitis is an electric detective. He works for a New Jersey company called Power Survey. His truck has equipment designed to find voltage hazards, surfaces that have become electrified by leaking energy. If a person or pet comes in contact with it, the consequences could be extreme. It takes three things for a shock to occur. You need voltage on a structure, you need a place for the current to go, a grounded place on the earth, and then you need a person to come in contact with both of them. Contact voltage killed 14-year-old Deanna Green back on May 5, 2006. Deanna simply touched a Baltimore City-owned and maintained fence while warming up for softball. 275 volts charged through her body. It happened just after the field lights were turned on. A buried wire leaked electricity. While not a common occurrence, Deanna Green is a startling reminder that it can happen. So I could take this light bulb and light it up on the outside of the street light, just as it would in a light socket in your house. The Deanna Green tragedy inspired passage of the Deanna Green rule. It requires utility companies to identify contact voltage risk zones, test those areas once a year, and render energized objects safe. Deanna Green's parents. The rule means if it's monitored properly, this won't happen to anyone else, or it minimizes the chances of it ha happening to anyone else. So no one else has to bury a loved one before their time. This can be prevented. It's hard to get a voltage reading, but when I add a little water, there you are. That's not a puddle you want to step in. We went out with Power Survey in September. They found this sidewalk in front of our daily bread soup kitchen energized with electricity. 60 volts in the sidewalk. So this area is energized. There's likely a failed cable underneath the ground. There's little you can do to protect yourself against these hot spots. That's why the inspections are so important. They're your last line of defense. That's about as bad as it gets. 114 volts on the push button for the crosswalk. This crosswalk in Pigtown is in the same block as a church and a school. Push button across or push button to die. But touching an energized object in of itself isn't dangerous. The danger comes when you also touch a grounded object nearby, like a pole or a manhole cover. And keep in mind that contact voltage changes over time. Baltimore risk zones were tested last year by a company under contract with BGE. It found 268 trouble spots, all promptly resolved by the utility. Power Survey bid for the same contract and lost. But the Greens asked Power Survey to run its own testing. The company identified what it says as 2,225 voltage hazards. The huge discrepancy worries the Greens. But BGE says it's unlikely Power Survey followed BGE's full procedure. We actually asked them to do a side-by-side -side trial with the vendor, and they've, been, uh, they've, they've declined the opportunity to do a side-by-side -side with the other vendor. Power Survey says that's not true. The other vendor is Premier Utility Services. In a letter to Maryland's Public Service Commission, the company stands by its technology and its findings and claims Power Survey, quote, did not follow the Public Service Commission's or BGE's procedures while performing their survey, end quote. But Power Survey stands by its results. While we were out with Power Survey in September, the company identified six sites where they say contact voltage was present. We notified BGE. They retested the sites and say only one needed to be rendered safe. Five of the locations, we did detect stray voltage, which is not generally a hazard to the public. But the Greens believe some dangerous contact voltage is going undetected. There are some um, hazards out there that are not being caught. And the intent of the law was to minimize the chances of it happening again. They aren't giving up being the watchdogs of the law named after their daughter. We are the enforcers. That's our homework assignment. That's our homework assignment. There yes. you go. For the 11 News I team, I'm David Collins. Now, David tells us the State Public Service Commission does have the authority to intervene and ask for additional testing, but does not plan to, saying the job was competitively bid by certified companies and the regulatory mandate was satisfied.